What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide for the epic worldwide players. So I'm going to have a video on how to get a second spin and clear up a couple of room or a confusion, a bit of confusion about how to get the second spin for this. We will have that video out in the next day or two. Uh, I've just been really busy lately, unfortunately, but we are still trying to get out the training guides as best and as quick as we can. So we are, we have covered a lot of the players already. We will be covering the remaining players after this video and grouping them up as we're doing in this video. So in this one, we are looking at the wingers. We're looking at Figo, Donadoni, and Danielson. Okay. So Danielson is a 78, Donadoni is an 81, and Figo is the creme de la crop 83 overall starting base. Okay. These players are very similar, but there are a couple of different stats that you need to look at, right? So we're going to start with Danielson. We will go over to eFootball DB. Uh, let me know if you like me grouping these videos as well or grouping these players into one video. Sometimes if there's a lot to talk about, I do do an individual training guide for people, you know, that want to just get that best information because, you know, you can't really cover a player in two minutes, I don't think, um, you know, unless you have like not really played uh, with the player and you don't really know um, the ins and outs of it, you know, because I've, I've often had it that people will use a, tra a training guide and it just won't work for them, right? So to talk about it, you have to take a look at the skills, you have to take a look at the key stats, and more importantly, and most importantly, you have to look at how you want him to be deployed on the pitch, how you want to use him on the pitch. So for Danielson, he's a very easy to train player, actually, because you don't need to mess around with his finishing too much or his passing. You just need to pick one or the other, okay? We'll get to that in a second. He's got double touch, he's got outside curler for shooting, he's got no look pass as well, which is quite unique, and then he's got scissors feint, flip flap, Marseille turn, chop turn, cut behind and turn and scotch move. So he's got a lot of tricks on the ball, which means that you are going to be dribbling with him a lot, you know, out wide, keeping him out wide as possible and cutting in. Like, you know, you can pick whether you want him to be a passer or a shooter uh, based on how you train him up, which we see here. So when we max him out here, we're going to have 47 levels. Yes, he does have 47 levels to go, as you can see there. And this is how we're going to max him out on eFootball DB, okay? So the best thing to do, I think, when you are looking at a player like this, is if you are going to be training a player and you're taking a look at how you want him to be used on the pitch, the three main stats that you need to use with a dribbler or with a winger, if you're using him as a prolific winger or a Roman flank, in my opinion, are dribbling, balance, and acceleration, right? People will watch my videos and they'll say, oh, you know, you still concentrate too much on acceleration. Acceleration is a byproduct of training his balance and his offensive awareness. The higher the offensive awareness, the more runs he'll make forward. The better the balance, the smaller the player that he is, um, the weaker that the player that he is, the higher the balance needs to be, all right? Okay, so there are two things. If you look at any tall player that has low balance in this, Haaland is a prime example, or Drogba, they do get pushed off the ball by stronger defenders, where Danielson, Romario, those type of guys, Messi, Neymar, with good balance, they're able to kind of shrug off challenges when they're going 50-50, when you have the ball, not when you're without the ball, okay? And then it comes into acceleration, and it comes into tie possession as well. So tie possession, balance kind of tie in together, and then acceleration and ball control and dribble and tie in when you have the ball, okay? So offensive awareness, 80, speed, 85, don't need much more stamina than that. All of these players that I'm using, lads, they are non-meta players, I would say, right? I, I don't really like that meta word, but they are non-meta players, as in a lot of these guys you're going to be using. Personally speaking, I think you should be using them as impact players. Either start them, play them for the first half, maybe 60 minutes, whip them off and get a super sub on if you're trailing a game, or else rest them up and get some fresh legs in to defend the lead or to go on and get another lead, change formation, do your sub tactics, or else bring them on with 60 minutes gone and have a fresh injection of pace. And that's what all of these wingers are going to be based on. So we've got the stats there. The only thing I would change is if you want to pause the video here, a 12 popped into shooting. If you don't shoot a lot, you can rely on his uh, player skills just to take the odd shot. Maybe shoot one in 20 games. If you don't shoot a lot, um, he'll still be able to score tap-ins. You can actually pop this into 12 into that. You're not going to get a massively high um, low pass and lofted pass, but it will be better than you know not having it because if you don't shoot, then it's just going to be wasted stats there. So if you're a pass first, you know crossing in from the wing, use that. If you like to shoot and cut in like Neymar Messi style or Salah style, you can use that. He is a left footy, so you'd be playing him on the left wing, cutting in and trying to cut the angle, right? Next up, we do have Donadoni, okay? So this guy is a bit more of a different player to train up, and he's kind of a hard player to train up because he's he's kind of a really good player, lads. I definitely think he's one of the best players that they have here. Double touch, 
and also got sole control with one touch pass. They're the three key stats you need for a winger. It means that you don't have to train up his passing at all, really, um, unless you want to make him like be your crossing into the box and stuff like that. He's got one touch pass, true passing and pinpoint crossing. And he also has trickster um, as well, which is always nice to kind of string together some dribbles and stuff. His acceleration, his dribbling and his... Um, speed is quite decent off the rip but the balance is the big problem with this car which we will see compared to Danielson who maxes out at a 91 Donadoni is going to max out at an 80 with balance with 12 into dexterity so Danielson has 14 into dexterity and uh, Donadoni has only 12 into dexterity because you need to raise up the speed as well so he's not as fast he's more of a kind of pass first winger right he does have some good player skills but we are going to be training up the passing as well so 1 6 11 12 5 is the ideal build for him if you are a pass first kind of player right if you like to cross in balls you've got the pinpoint crossing and the true passing and the one touch pass and the outside curler you'll be able to swing balls in he can play any position as well he's got a wavering form i actually do like donadoni quite a lot now again if you do not like to pass the ball too much um you know and if you want to just rely on his skills you can train take that down to 78 you can pop one more into dexterity and then pop one more into finishing to get the finish into 71 there's a few different ways to train him but you're not going to get the balance into the 90s no matter what you do okay even if you want to just completely negate the dribbling or the speed or the stamina like you could take the stamina down one and have it at 78 even and then get another one maybe into um dexterity but even at that you're at 95 acceleration and 83 offensive awareness but the balance is going to be 82 which brings me on to i think the best player of this which is figo and i definitely think figo is massively slept on and massively overrated his standard form is a bit of a killer and the fact that he does not have double touch means you will have to give him double touch right that is a bit of a killer on this card but figo is more like a classic right midfielder david beckham-esque when he's passing the ball especially if you train him up right okay now that does fly in the face of kind of what his card looks like because he still has 82 acceleration but he's got 80 lofted pass and 82 dribbling straight off the rip and look at the stamina 79 stamina so he's more of a workhorse from right midfield i would play him as a kind of a deep right mid and just be able to kind of swing balls in if you're using him on the right wing then that is a different kind of card, which we'll get to in a second as well, right? But double touch on this card transforms this card because he does have soul control as well. So that will tie in very nicely there. He's down as a prolific winger. This is the best version of him, I think, if you're looking for a cut in and shoot winger, right? Even though we've only popped two into finishing, he still has 77 finishing and he's got brilliant, absolutely brilliant passing. So as I said, this version here, is for finishing okay 83 finishing we've still got 82 lofted passing this is a cut inside and finishing winger and um, this one that i have on the screen here now so for the cut inside and shoot finisher 8 to 8 10 8 this is a wing based version of him if you are looking to play him on out an out wide position we're going to just boost up his passing right we're going to boost it up as best as we possibly can and to do that, we need to pop 8 into passing, at least 8 into passing to get that 88 lofted pass so that we do get the boost of the 88 in on the form arrow, he's going to be into the 90 zone. He's going to have 90 dribbling, he's going to have 90 lofted pass, and he's going to have over 90 acceleration. Um, so I think that this is a phenomenal card, lads. Genuinely, I do think it's a phenomenal card, depending on how you play with him. He's not a traditional kind of like blister and pace winger. But who is anymore in the game? The game has slowed down when you get the ball with fast-based players like Mbappe and Romario and Figo and players like that now. It's more about acceleration and being able to ride challenges with the balance, with the tight possession. Figo's not the best at that, so you do have to be a passer with Figo. I think if you're using a crosser um, like Figo, you do need to have a target man. You know, like Collar is a perfect man for him. Drogba's a perfect man for him. Haaland's a perfect man for him to play off. He's not going to be like Dembele or Sané or Mane or Diaz from Liverpool that you're going to be able to cut inside and just absolutely rinse people. Yes, good players will be able to do that. But if you're looking to do that, the Nielsen is probably the best man for doing that. He's a dribble-centric dribbler, like a winger. Donadoni's kind of a middle ground between the two of them. And then Figo is just a pass-first winger. So make sure you train the players up correctly, lads. And uh, yeah, I hope this guide helps you out with the three wingers. Let me know a bit of feedback on whether you like me when I group these together, or you like the individual ones, or you like the mix that I'm doing. Some individual, some grouping. And yeah, we will be back quite soon. I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.